They didn't sweet talk the fire. They didn't meditate while the fire was coming in, but they did have sort of ideas that are core to Zen that they brought to facing the fire. always been, okay, we're in fire country, we have to know something about how to live here. And that goes along with Zen. Zen has a very strong sort of work ethic. It would have been a final evacuation. There would have been no one left on the ground at Tassajara. They could just see that, that like, if they left, no one would be there to keep the pumps running, to deal with a spot fire if there was a spot fire, to deal with a building that actually had caught fire. And that's what they did. My perception is that the widely held view is that uh, what they did in 2008 saved Tassajara, that if they hadn't stayed, it would have burned. became more apparent that we needed to be better prepared for this. That's where the idea or, or the aspect of training came to be. Around 2014, 15, we, we started having more active training from professional firefighters and getting certifications. They learn, you know, things around cutting lines or being in, 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 in real fire situations. One of the main things here is meeting reality as it is. And that's one of the main tenets of, of Zen Buddhism. Meeting reality, not fantasizing that we are something else, is really key here. Not believing you're some kind of hero or super, you know, monk, firefighter or something, but really meeting reality as it is. It's interesting, there is a symbiosis, there is something going on there where, you know, maybe at some point that fast nest or a calm nest, that might come through, right? Or, or, or they might, might, might see that. It's a practice that teaches you how to let go of your, um, sort of your fixed ideas about things and to instead really see clearly what is actually happening. That's actually one of the core skills of a firefighter, the, of a wildland firefighter, is, is they call it situational awareness. You know, what is actually happening and reading the landscape. In Zen, you're cultivating this, this open mind. You're cultivating your, your ability to pay attention for long periods of time through boredom, through um, difficulty, you know, whether it's emotional or physical pain. You learn how to sort of rest in the middle of uncertainty, which is, which is our life.